Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> everybody it is January 31st and time to move so I'm gonna attempt to do a little vlog series here in the next couple days or so um, if you remember for those of you that have been watching uh, I got uh, selected for promotion I got promoted the other day to master gunnery sergeant and with that came a set of orders to leave florida and head to virginia i got stationed to pentagon so spent the last couple days getting loaded up i got the boat right here got my 24 foot sea arc loaded up got the truck loaded up um let's see here got all the important stuff right <laughs> uh got my suitcases with some clothes in it i got um all my you can't see them back there but i got my tree stand my uh hunting totes and some camping gear got my my target block shoot my bow workout gear that kind of stuff and uh loaded up got all my uniforms my cool plank my wife maybe years ago for one of my deployments I take it everywhere but got some shotguns and rifle and my bow all loaded up and it's just me, my wife and daughter are staying here until school lets out and they'll come up the first week of June to meet me. I'm, so I'll be living in an Airbnb for a couple weeks, well, a couple weeks, <laughs> for a few months and uh, doing the bachelor thing for a little bit. Not real excited about that, but it is what it is, story of my life. But uh, got my daughter made honor roll again this quarter. So we're heading over there uh, shortly for a assembly at her school. She's in sixth grade, just turned 12 a couple weeks ago. Super proud of her. She's an awesome little kid and I'm gonna miss the heck out of her the next few months. Um, so we're gonna head over there and see her get you know, her little honor roll award. And then I'm um, getting on the road, probably be on the road between 10, 10, 30. I'm gonna drive to Florence, South Carolina, got a hotel for the night. And then I'll get up Saturday morning, drive the rest of the way to Virginia to, uh, check into my airbnb so yeah and a lot of anxiety about all this and kind of you know it's very sweet and ready to go move on to the next things it's, you know 23 years of doing this marine corps thing i'm used to moving every so often but it does get old with leaving the family and all those things and granted it was a choice that we made that my daughter wanted to stay here they could have moved with me but she wanted to stay here and finish school with her friends and i get that so but time to move on to the next thing. I'll get moving here. Go hang out with the wife for a little bit. Lily is super mad. She's been trying to run out the front door all, all morning to get in the truck. She thinks she's going with me, especially since she saw me messing with the boat. So she's ready to go get some ducks. All right, folks. See ya. Well, went to the honor thing, school, and back at the house. Final preparations are done. Boat's hooked up. Got it all ready to go. And we're gonna get on the road. Just kiss the wife goodbye. Super sad. Say goodbye to dogs. Super sad. And we're gonna get going. See you guys later. All right, now we're really on the road. Stopped at Walmart. Got me a energy drink. I know I'm gonna need that. Got me some uh, clip bars. The adventure pack it says. Look at that. Adventure pack. Teen crunchy peanut butter. Thanks, Cliff Bar. You guys are awesome. It's gonna be an adventure, so I figure I might as well get the adventure pack. So to the highway. Well, on the interstate, heading north on uh I-75.
So it's gonna be busy. about three hours and uh, pulled over good old loves loves truck stop grabbing some hardies last thing I need is some fast food but uh, yeah got something to eat and uh, check the, the truck check it to the boat everything's looking good it's been a good drive so far but felt some diesel here and uh Get back on the road, keep driving away. I gotta check the map, see, I don't even know how far I got left to go today. So I'll do that and see what the plan is. All right, South Carolina, I need you guys, I need you guys to get your act together. Holy crap, I am getting the living crap kicked out of me on I-95 in South Carolina. Whew, man, roads are, the road is horrible. I'm gonna go make sure the boat's still in one piece. Man, that and people, come on. If you're out driving, this is a public service point. Like, pay attention to what you're doing. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to take a knee and sip water here at the gas station or something. Man, it's pouring rain. People are just not. Man, I. I I had to pull over. I was like, I just I gotta, gotta take a break. I'm gonna get some diesel. I'm gonna grab a snack and uh, collect my thoughts a little bit. Cause wow, I got about an hour and a half, two hours left to go, and I'll be at the hotel in Florence. So I'm looking forward to getting to that hotel right now. This has been a long, long day. Man, well, let me get this done. Oh, uh, boat fairing well so far. Except for my uh, tarp blotter. It's fine. Just I'm getting bounced around and rattled so much that the, it's coming off the mount. So it's not it just disconnected. It took it off. I need to do that anyways for later because last thing I need is to disappear in the middle of the night, you know. I might be a little upset if that happened. So take that off, lock that away. So far, everything else looks like it's holding up all right. No major issues. But, except for that guy who says, Carl, I'm off. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm ready for today to be over. I'm a little grumpy, to say the least. We get food, that usually helps. But, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, it's been a good drive so far, I can't complain. And, of course, where am I? Loves. I don't know. I like gloves. It's kind of my thing. All right. See ya. Well, I made it uh, in my hotel. Uh, here in Florence, South Carolina. Um, glad to be off the, off the roads. It was uh, a little frustrating the last couple hours. The, uh, pouring rain out and uh you know, it's dark can't see very well you know traffic you know, it's been crazy so i am definitely glad to finally be here got my room all the in coming through as always it was a very nice room i'm looking forward to a nice bed tonight it's not my bed that kind of sucks just the family already. Uh, yeah, uh, just, it's been rough. I, uh, you got well, anybody that's been following along for a while knows. And last year was a pretty busy year um, for me. I spent eight months on the road. And uh, now I get to spend four months living by myself up here and, well, up in Virginia once I get there. 
until the family moves up at the end of the when school lets out. So uh, I'm not real excited about that. And uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll make it work. And I got, got some plans, entertain myself for a little while, look for a place, you know, permanent place to live and all those fun things. Tonight I'm gonna, well, it's 8.30 at night. I spent 10 hours on the road since I left the house. Pretty worn out, but I got through some schoolwork, working on my, finishing up my, my degree. So I'm getting close, but I got homework I gotta get done. So I'll work on that and probably veg out to something. I'll turn my brain off a little bit and listen to podcasts for the last 10 hours that and chit chat with the wife a little bit and talk to Chris for a while. I know, big shock. The wives will give us a hard time for talking, but yeah, the, uh, need to turn my brain off and get some rest. I'll, I gotta look at a map. I don't, I'm not sure when I looked the other day, I'm pretty sure it said like five and a half drive, hours drive time, but it also said seven and a half hours drive time over here. Granted, it doesn't count stops and all that. And it's been pretty slow going this last couple hours. Hopefully the roads get better as I go north. The roads here, uh, no offense to South Carolina, but I'm just saying, gosh, the roads have been horrible. Um, and then, you know, you compound it with the rain and bad drivers. Not that I'm the world's greatest driver in the world out there, but I'm just saying, wow. Any rate, I better get busy so I get this work done and uh, I can go to bed. I'll uh, make a trip out, check on everything. It's pouring rain, so I just kind of locked the truck and said, I'll do it later. And it's a little bit colder than it was when I left. It's about 39 degrees. It was 70 when I left Tampa, so... Um, guess I should break my jeans out and my shoes and or in my boots or something. I got shorts on a hoodie on right now. Probably look like a weirdo. That's right. Anyway, I'll see you all in the morning. Peace.